Customers who bought the Galaxy Note 7 in Korea will be able to get new ones starting today. The replacements will be available at retail outlets of Korea's three main telecom companies. Our Kim hye has more on the tech giant's efforts to redeem itself after the battery fiasco. Samsung Electronics has started providing replacements for its Galaxy Note 7 smartphones in Korea. The move comes two weeks after the company announced a massive recall of its large screen smartphones in 10 countries on September 2nd amid reports of its batteries exploding or catching fire while charging. Around 400,000 Note 7 smartphones have been sold in Korea, and users of the phone can get the same color replacement at Korea's three main mobile carriers, SK, LG U Plus, and KT, just by bringing in their device. LG U Plus customers can get replacements at any store in the country, and SK and KT customers can get new devices at the store where they made the purchase by September 30th. We're offering to replace the old Note 7 phones based on the date users activated the device. More than a dozen Note 7 users changed their phones at our shop today. With Samsung expected to provide 90 percent of its new Note 7 units across the country this week, we'll be able to replace old phones for all users who bought them at our shop by Saturday. The new Galaxy Note 7 phones show the battery charging icon in green rather than the original white to differentiate it from the old ones. Monday is also the last day for Galaxy Note 7 consumers who either want a refund or who want to cancel their service without a fee. Samsung started the recall process in Singapore on Friday and will start recalling phones in the U.S. on Wednesday. The world's biggest smartphone maker said it will expand the recall program to other countries later this month and will start selling the Note 7 again on September 28th. But with Apple's new iPhone 7 series a hit with consumers and LG set to unveil its new V20 smartphones, it remains to be seen how Samsung will get itself through the Note 7 crisis. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.